Tonight's game on Old Red 99.5 brought to you by Bruning Grain and Feed. Mike Heinrichs, your DuPont Pioneer Seed Rep in Shickley. Leroy Voss Pioneer Seed and Corey Voss Precision Planning Services in Bruning. We're ready for action in Wilbur for BDS. Fiala, Kleinschmidt, Kamler, Alfson, Hudson, Exeter Milligan, Geiger, Papik, White, Jansky, Turo, Beatis. It's Kamler and Jansky jumping. The ball is controlled by BDS. The Eagles move from right to left. We are underway in this D2-2 sub-district final. And on the first possession, here's Ray Reagan Alves on the right elbow goes left wing to Hudson. Hudson straight down to the rack to Reagan Fiala. And Fiala puts it up and in. BDS takes a 2-0 lead 15 seconds in. Welcome to the ballgame, folks. Just after 7 o'clock here on KUTTFM, Fairbury, Beatrice, Old Red 99.5, online at oldred99.5.com. On the ensuing possession, Jaden Papik fires for three, doesn't get it. Defensive board by Kleinschmidt. Kleinschmidt down the floor to Kamler, fires a jumper from the low block on the left side. Kamler's shot is blocked by Catherine White, and then players hit the floor for jump ball. Possession arrow, Exeter Milligan. So White, a pair of block shots last night, gets one here in the early going. And it is a 2-0 BDS, but Exeter Milligan now gets the ball right back. Chance to tie or take the lead. Here's White coming right off a screen from Papik. Stops on the right elbow. Goes deep on the right wing to Geiger. Geiger dives in. Throws up a jumper with a right hand. It misses. Offensive rebound by Emma Olsen. Olsen kicks it out. Papik steps in for a deep two on the left corner. Not good. Tara Lee Hudson, the defensive board. Hudson puts it in the hands of Kleinschmidt up the floor on the right side. We're a minute five seconds into the game. BDS 2, Exeter Milligan nothing. Number two, Jaden Kleinschmidt takes the ball across the court, slows and then restarts her dribble, drives it straight to the rack, puts it up and in. And Kleinschmidt's got two. It's 4 nothing BDS. And then as White and Papik attempt to bring the ball up the floor, Kleinschmidt decided to try and go for a steal, perhaps just a slightly too bold of a prospect on defense as Kleinschmidt is called with a uh, personal foul. Her first personal, first team foul on BDS. 4-0 Eagles, Exeter Milligan ball, minute 20 gone by in the opening quarter. Here's Emma Olsen on the right wing, holds, now goes up top White. White puts it on the floor, comes right off a screen from Jansky. No return pass, instead goes left to Olsen. Olsen back to White. White dribbles in between the circles, offense resets as uh, White puts it in the hands of Olsen. Thought about a three, goes up top to Geiger. Geiger, one dribble over to the right side to White. White to Jansky, up top, three on the way, it's short and the rebound is controlled by Reagan Fiala. Fiala up the floor to Macy Kamler. 4-0 BDS. They got the ball. They're looking for more. 6-10 to go first quarter. Kamler dribbles it down to the right wing. Goes up top to Jaden Kleinschmidt. Kleinschmidt fires it down low to Reagan House. Loses her dribble. It's stolen by Emma Olsen. Turnover number one for Exeter Milligan. Usually a sure thing to Alves down low. The dribble just a little too low, and Olsen was able to get in there and strip the ball loose. Exeter Milligan still looking for their first points. 5.50 to go first quarter. They trail BDS here in Wilbur 4 0. Kayla Geiger up top gives to Catherine White on the right wing. White fakes right, goes left to Papik in the high post. Little dribble, steps back atop the key, goes left wing to Geiger. Geiger has it in her hands, looks around, goes to Emma Olsen. Olsen to Papik. Papik holds, looking, looking. Now up top to Kate Jansky, dribbles to the high post in the lane, lets it fly. Seven feet out, rims out, not good. Defensive rebound by Reagan Alves. Alves puts it in the hands of Kleinschmidt. Kleinschmidt up the floor on the right side. She stops, goes up top. Reagan Fiala. Fiala dribbles once to her left, goes over to Macy Kamler. Kamler dribbles in the lane. Spin move, being double teamed. Throws up a shot off the glass, not good. Offensive rebound, Alves not good. Alves again on a putback. That one will go. Reagan Alves is perhaps most lethal on the offensive boards. And her third putback attempt is good. It's 6-0 BDS. Fiala, Kleinschmidt, and Alves have all scored. A little pause in the action there after the shot as um, Catherine White adjusting her ponytail. Jansky inbounds to White. Up the floor, moving left to right. Exeter Milligan in their road blacks, the white numerals and blue trim. BDS in their home whites with the maroon numerals and maroon stripes. White meets Kleinschmidt up top, has to get rid of it. Goes over to Papik, left wing. In the high post, Olsen, catch and shoot from 15 feet, not good. Offensive rebound straight ahead by Papik. Papik put up a shot that sails over the backboard, which would typically be possession for the other team, but before that happened, Papik got fouled by Reagan Fiala, Reagan's first personal. Second team foul on BDS. Papik, number two, will shoot two shots. 4.50 to go opening quarter. 6-0 brooding Davenport Shickley. So this could put Exeter Milligan on the board here. Papik's first shot. Short. Papik on the year. We mentioned five and a half points per contest. On the season, a 44% free throw shooter. Exeter Milligan, 49% as a unit. You can hear a pin drop here in Wilbur. 
Pepic second shot won't go. Defensive board, Reagan Alves. So Exeter Milligan continues the search for their first point. Six nothing Eagles. Kamler dribbles it down to the right wing. Puts it in the hands of Kleinschmidt. Kleinschmidt down low to Hudson. Hudson one dribble. Throws it up underhanded. Got fouled by Catherine White and made the shot anyway. Unbelievable. Tara Lee Hudson puts it up and in. 44 is the fourth different Eagle to score. Is the foul on Jansky or White? Apparently it was on Jansky. I apologize. That's Kate Jansky's first personal foul, first team foul. Hudson at the line, converts the free throw. Hudson leads her team with three, eight, nothing, Bruning, Davenport, Shickley. Four and a half to go opening quarter. Papik brings it up the floor, gives to Jansky, catch and shoot three, off the mark, not good. Defensive rebound to Macy Kamler. Jansky's made 52 threes, more than any player in Class D2. She made two last night against Dorchester. Here's Kamler, down low to Hudson, being double teamed on the low block. White gets a block, and the ball comes in the hands of Emma Olsen. Catherine White with her second block of the game. 4-12 to go, opening quarter, 8-0 BDS, Exeter Milligan ball. Geiger up the floor to Papik. Papik kicks it out. Jansky in the lane, straight ahead. Jansky puts it up and in, and Kate gets fouled. Huge ba basket for Exeter Milligan. They're finally on the board. Three minutes and 54 seconds into the game. Exeter Milligan cracks that goose egg on the scoreboard. It's 9-2. Hey, hey, Alexis Turobiatis checking into the basketball game. Yeah, Olsen actually ended up starting over Turobiatis. Those two have alternated from time to time this year. Jansky converts the three-point play. And when you're down 9-0, put it in the hands of your best player. And Jansky delivers three points right there the old-fashioned way. Back to a two-score game, 9-3 BDS, four minutes to go. Mentioned BDS, this is the 18th meeting between these two schools. The Eagles have a 10-7 series advantage, and the Eagles have won the last five straight, including all three meetings last year and the meeting earlier this year on January 17th. As Taylor Sliva has checked into the game, tries to give a pass over to Bryn Cato. That pass goes out of bounds on the far right baseline. BDS's first turnover. So Exeter Milligan could really capitalize here. Needed some points. Bruning Davenport Chickley leads 9 3. Timberwolf ball, three and a half to go first quarter. Here's Olsen up top to Robiatis. Biatis back to Emma. Emma gives back to Catherine White. White stands in the backcourt, being guarded by Kleinschmidt. Puts it on the floor to her right. Goes down to the baseline, right side. Spin move, fadeaway shot, not good. Tip tr uh, ball's tipped around, picked up by Olsen. Little contact, no foul on the putback. Turo Biotis got an offensive rebound. She falls to the floor. Jump ball is called. Possession arrow, BDS. Kayla Geiger back in to the basketball game. Kayla Geiger in. Jaden Papik comes out. 9-3, <clears throat> BDS the ball in the lead. BDS moving from right to left. Pretty good attendance for both schools here in the home of the Wolverines. 9-3, BDS three minutes to go. They got the ball. Kleinschmidt lets it fly for three. It's good. Off the assist by Macy Kamler. Kleinschmidt buries the trifecta. She's got five points. BDS ties their biggest lead at 12-3. First made three-pointer for either team. 2.48 to go first quarter. Here is Geiger on the right wing being guarded by Taylor Sliva. Gives in the high post to Turo Biotis. Travel, no call. Turo Biotis drives the lane against two defenders and draws the foul. So she'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul comes on number 12 for BDS. That'd be Bryn Cadle, the 5'6 sophomore. Coming off the bench. That's Cadle's first personal foul. Third team foul for BDS. And... Turo Biotis at the line for the Timberwolves. Alexis's first shot will go. Man, it gets so deadly quiet in here when they shoot free throws. <laughs> Kayla Geiger checks in. Emma Olsen checks out. Don't want to say anything too stupid because then the whole gym would hear it. 12-4, BDS. Turo Biotis made the first. Second on the way. Off the rim, not good. Reagan Alfs gets, her own, gets the rebound. Exeter Milligan as a team, just two of five from the stripe. 12-4, BDS up eight. Here's Kleinschmidt, dribbles to the left elbow, up top, Kamler, left open, three on the way, off the back of the iron, long rebound comes to Catherine White. 2.27 to go, first quarter, 12-4, BDS, number 12 for Exeter Milligan, Catherine White trying to drive the lane, falls down, the ball is loose, picked up by Jansky, right elbow, Jansky to Geiger, three off the rim, not good, Tero Biotis runs down the rebound, back up top, Kayla Geiger, back pedals in the backcourt, lets the offense reset. As Jansky on the right wing floats it down to White. White against Alfs throws up a shot not good. White gets her own rebound. Another shot off the glass by White won't go. Defensive board to Alfs. 
Good matchup there. Reagan Allison, Catherine White, two of the better basketball players in our listening area. 12-4. BDS with the ball in the lead. Here's Kleinschmidt, right wing, down low. Taylor Sliba left open, puts it up and in. Sliba takes it to the rack. Five different BDS Eagles have scored. It's 14-4, the biggest lead for brooding Davenport Chickley yet. Minute and a half to go, first quarter. Here's White on the low block left side, dribbling around Kleinschmidt, throws up a shot, doesn't go. Again, rebound Reagan Alves. She's already got five of them. Alves puts it in the hands of Kleinschmidt. Exeter Milligan in a bit of a bind here, first quarter. Minute 20 to go in period number one, 14-4. Here's Kamler in the left wing, download a sliver on the baseline. Kind of lost her dribble, has a ball swatted out by Catherine White. Out on Exeter, remains BDS ball. Emma Olsen checks in. Turo Biotis checks out. Turo B, or no. Olsen comes in, White comes out. Emma Olsen made the start tonight over Turo Biotis. Here's Kleinschmidt. Floats it up top over to Bryn Cadel. Cadel back to Kleinschmidt, left wing. Pump fake, steps in, deep two on the left wing. Well short, well defended by Jansky. Defensive rebound to Robiatis. Over to Geiger up the floor on the left side. 64 seconds to go in counting first quarter. 14-4 BDS, Exeter Milligan needs something here. Here's Jansky on the left wing. Jansky goes down low. Olsen, Olsen trying to get around. Alfs doesn't go. Alfs gets her sixth rebound of the game. Alfs is an absolute statue down there in the paint. Jaden Kleinschmidt dribbling up the floor on the right side, being guarded by Papik, number two on number two there. They're going to call an offensive foul on Kleinschmidt. Fans behind me don't agree. Can't really blame them. Kleinschmidt on, that's her second personal. She's going to come out. Reagan Fiala comes back in. Kay Jansky also checks out. Geiger and Papik back in. Geiger, Papik, Olsen, Turo, Beatis, White for BDS. It's Sliva, Cadel, Alfs, Kamler, Fiala. For BDS. Here is G Papik on the left wing to Olsen. Left open on the left wing. Tries to go up top to Robiatis. Ball is lost but regathered by Geiger. Geiger in the backcourt. Right wing to Biatis. 34 seconds to go first quarter. Biatis going down to Olsen. Ball swatted by Sliva and picked up by Bryn Cadel. Exeter Milligan's second turnover. Cadel puts it in the hands of Sliva being double teamed. She brings the ball up the floor. Gives off to Reagan Fiala. Fiala goes right wing to Alves. Alves holds the ball atop her head. Left wing. Kamler steps inside the wing. Low block jumper. Six feet away. Off the rim twice. Not good. Offensive rebound. Put back up and in. Reagan Alves, are you kidding me? Her seventh rebound in the putback shot is good. She's got four points, 16 to four. Eagles flying high with four seconds left. Three, two, one. Turo Biotis fires well short from the high post. Being well defended by Kamler, Turo Biotis lets it fly before the buzzer. The shot does not go. And at the end of the first quarter, Bruning Davenport Shickley has soared out to a 16 to four lead over Exeter Milligan. We'll be back with a second quarter after this on All Red 99.5.